What's up guys, it's RC Crush here. I'm Adrian and I'm here at Adam's house with a new car which none of you have seen unless you follow our Instagram then you have seen it. But um, this car is our first ever drift RC and this is Adam's car obviously and he bought this for our 100th subscriber special yes we hit 100 subscribers I think it was last week we're now at 102 but uh, you know he's like we we gotta do something special for 100 subscribers you know I know that's only 100 some people have 1 million or 100 million but um, for us when we're hitting 100 that's our first goal now our next goal is to hit 200 by a certain point and we actually hit 100 before our deadline, like by almost two months, which was awesome. And for the people who supported us on Instagram and the uh, JCRC crew, thank you guys so much. And uh, well, let's get to this so I don't keep talking. So here we have an HPI Racing E10 Drift uh, with the Falcon Tire 2013 Ford Mustang body. We will be getting a different body because um, we want to actually make this thing look cool and not like the stock thing. It, like by next month, this thing will not look even anything like the stock car. So I'm gonna start opening up. Uh, I don't know. If this is upside down. Yep, it is. I'm just gonna flip this. All right, there we go. There's the body and the car itself, obviously. Some batteries and your controller. So this is basically what it looks like as soon as you open the box. Now, just by looking at the body, I can already see that it's kind of like plasticky and not that great. So. Uh, it's a good thing we're getting a new body anyway, so well, let's first get the controller which is wrapped in a ton of stuff That's unimportant Let's just stab this There we go Already by seeing this looks like you know one of your cheap controllers I don't even know if this is a standard HPI. We think this is our first HPI car, so I'm not sure. I think it comes with batteries. It looks like it only takes four batteries, which is and it comes with batteries, so you, those aren't required, which is good. I think to open it, you have to unscrew something, which is always a pain, and I never want to do. But uh, I guess it's all right. Maybe he'll upgrade to a Spectrum because. It doesn't look good. Uh, let's see what's in this box. I'm guessing this is gonna be the wall charger, which we will never use because we have our own charger. Never use wall chargers. They are terrible. Oh, looks like there's many adapters. So, as you can see, here's the wall charger. It looks like, if you open this up, if you open this, so here is for the battery, obviously, the plug. But here you actually have different adapters. So like this one would be like in Europe. I know this one's from Poland, because this is the kind of adapter I use in Poland. And here's your regular one that you would use here in the US. And it, just slides, it looks like it just slides on. Or no, you have to hold this down and just do that. So there we go, that's how you do it. Then you have your other adapters, which if you live in the US, you won't ever need to use, unless you're obviously going to Europe or wherever, and you're bringing them this. So there's that, now let's take out the car, oh it looks like the manual is under here, so if you're wondering where the manual is, it's right under the car, and a lot of people like to ignore the manual, but you don't really want to do that. I mean, I know some of the things you don't really need to read because you already know about them, but sometimes if you have any questions about the car, it's usually going to be in your manual. Looks like there's an antenna, which is probably going to go right there. 
antenna cover, I should say, not the actual antenna. So here you have your manual on there. Tells you about everything. And I'm guessing there's going to be some stickers. Looks like this is just some other manual kind of thing for your charger and your radio and whatnot. Looks like here is something about the lipo for lipo safety. Uh, here's just some other important information it says. So, not sure. Oh, here are the stickers. Here are all your stickers it comes with HPI, E10 Drift. Just throw those on there, whatever you want. And here's like some. Oh, it actually comes with a card. Let's see. HPI Racing Kit Card. Alright, this is pretty cool. I'll have to look into this. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Uh, yeah, it looks like you just go online and activate this. And I'm not sure. I'll, we'll have to look into that. For now, let's leave that aside. Let's get the car out. It looks like i got to get under there. I'm just going to take my knife. I feel like getting under it, so I'm just gonna try to cut it. <laughs> it's feeling lazy. Oh, something fell. Uh, looks like something actually fell. I think these are just some extra parts, is what it's looking like. But yeah, those are just extra parts. Wait, oh wow. Completely missed this. Um, by the weight of it, yep. This is the battery. It's just like 7.2 volt nickel metal hydrate 2000 milliamp battery pretty standard you can throw in a lipo whatever you want I mean this is our first drift so we first kind of have to experiment with this and this body feels so fragile here's the front of the body it looks pretty cool like with all the stickers and all that but it just feels very, very fragile. It's under it, all painted. Very nice looking body, just not, uh, just not very um, sturdy. Now here is the inside of the car, and there's the inside. <laughs> uh, what I'm seeing here, you got your foam front bumper, uh, your plug. I'm not really. I've never used an HPI, so like seeing all these, or, or even a drift car, so the, this whole entire setup is completely new to us, and uh, looks like you have a SC15WP, all these uh, electronics are from HPI, so it's nothing like special. Uh, it's not like a Castle Creations, it's not a Tekken, it's not nothing, it's all from HPI, so whatever HPI had, they threw it in this car, and I'm, we are not familiar with HPI, so, alright guys, we're back, uh, that just, we decided just to stop it because the box and the zip ties were being annoying, but we finally got it out of the box after like 10 minutes, and... Actually, the size of this is very small. After taking it out of the box, it's very small. But this is also a drift car. We are we are used to the short course uh, trucks, you know, much bigger, wider. But this is a drift car, so it's much different. Um, so, like I said before, you got your uh, foam bumper. I'm just gonna pick it up. You got a foam bumper up front. Your body posts. The tires seem pretty slick, so good for drifting. Uh, I like the rims, they're nice and white. Pretty detailed as well. Uh, all plastic parts is what I noticed. There is a um, drive shaft, because it's a four wheel drive car. Uh, there's some grease there, and um, it's not as good as the one on the uh, Slash 4x4 is, if you guys remember that video, there was, it was covered and it was aluminum. This one's just plastic and 
It's just plastic. Everything's plastic on this car, which for $180, I guess, isn't bad. But this is also, um, this is more like a beginner drift car. And we are beginners at this. We have never had a drift car. So we're going to have to get used to it. We're going to have to learn how to do it. And, uh, you know, it's just going to go along from there. So just like a beginner slash two-wheel drive, you know, eventually you, you get up. You, you know, you got the four-wheel drive. Now we're starting, you know, something new, a drift. So we just have to work our way up. But um, like we said, we're not into drifting, so I don't know much about this. This is all new to me as well as to you guys if you've never had this car. What I'm actually looking at here is the uh, drift accessor accessories. It's so like different things, like aluminum parts, um, differential sets, and new shocks, all that kind of things. So these are like aluminum parts that you could get for the plastic parts. But considering it's a drift car, I'm, I don't think it's actually good. the parts are going to break that often. Considering it's a drift and you won't really be bashing this. So uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to throw in the battery just to kind of see how this thing runs or not well we're not really gonna run it I just kind of want to see uh, how slick the tires are and the the turning and stuff the, the steering I should say Turn on. Actually, there we go just throw this in there I actually realized on the controller you actually don't have to unscrew anything which you just do just go down with that so we're gonna take these we are so um, looks like yep four batteries as it comes with just throw them in there I got one of them go oh my god this is already getting annoying <laughs> okay that and okay we're good it took too long than I thought it would all right, that's in. Let's make sure it turns on. It turns on. It'll be red, just like that. It looks like you know you have your steering trim and throttle trim and just normal stuff on a thing, on a controller. Now I'm just gonna plug the battery in. I'm not even gonna secure the battery. I just want to see how the steering works, and I'm just gonna hold it. So it looks like turn it on right there. Not sure if that's even turned on. Nope. Let's see here. Did we do something wrong? Nope. Let's see. See, this is why you should read the manual. <laughs> uh, battery's plugged in. Just not turning on. So, I don't know if that's a problem or if I just need to read the manual and see if I need to do something. So... Uh, unless the battery is just not even charged, which could be the case since, I mean, this is just taken right out of the box. So that's not going to work. So you basically saw me put in batteries for no reason. Well, um, I think that's going to be it for this unboxing slash 100 subscribers special. Um, like I want to say thank you guys again for, uh, sticking to the channel and the show um hopefully we can uh grow bigger as time goes on and we hope you guys enjoyed the video um you know a new addition to the studio and uh we're definitely going to be doing so many more videos with this like our first run and maybe we'll start a new series with the drift uh you know a brand new car brand new type of car so, uh, you know, there's many new things that are going to be happening. And one thing you guys should do is go follow us on Instagram because we are very active on Instagram. And there's a lot of updates. I'm 
we're currently doing a giveaway right now. So, you know, just go on Instagram, type in RC Crush, and follow us. And that's just about it. That's all you gotta do. So, um, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Um, please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, just comment below. And this is RC Crush, signing off.